Hey, this is Phil Hollinsworth, and on this episode, I want to tell you three places in Pensacola you can fish if you don't have a boat. Stay tuned. All right, let's get into it. If you don't own a boat, there are three types of fishing that you can do if you live in Pensacola or are visiting the area. Bridge fishing, pier fishing, and surf fishing on the beach. Although bridge fishing wouldn't be my first choice, it may be a good option for you if you don't have the ability to commute to the beach. The Pensacola Bay Bridge, or Three Mile Bridge as we call it, is probably the most known bridge that people fish in the Pensacola area. It's very popular because of its accessibility. It's very easy to get to. You can walk on and fish for just $2. The county has purchased fishing licensing for the bridge, so you're not required to buy an additional saltwater license if you fish on the bridge and pay the $2 fee. I recommend coming prepared with one or two rods with some live bait or cut bait, whatever you have access to. The bridge holds a variety of species, so I recommend having two rods. With the first rod, I would use a Carolina rig or a double drop rig and put cut mullet or fresh shrimp on there. With the second rod, you ideally want a live bait like a pinfish or an LY to throw free lined or even with a small weight. Make sure you set your drag light so that if a big fish grabs the bait and takes off, it won't take off with your rod and reel as well. The Pensacola Bridge is a great place to fish during the day, but I probably wouldn't recommend going at night. If you like the feel of fishing from a bridge but would like a better environment, I would recommend the Pensacola Pier. The Pensacola Pier is located on Casino Beach, which is the hub for activity and entertainment. If fishing during the summer month, you're gonna have a lot more species available to you. You're gonna have flounder, bluefish, redfish, sheep's head, Spanish mackerel, king mackerel, and if you're lucky, cobia and even tarpon. You can get a daily fishing pass for $7.50 per adult and $4.50 for kids. And again, this does include your saltwater fishing license, so you don't have to purchase one in addition to the Pier Pass. Bring some solid casting lures, like a gotcha plug or a casting gold spoon. Also bring a rod with either a treble hook or a Carolina rig with a light weight on it for natural bait. Again, shrimp is probably your best option here, but you can also go with cut mullet or LYs or any bait that's available that you can get on your second rod and use that. So you're gonna have a better chance of catching the bigger fish at the end of the pier, but everyone knows that in the area. So it's gonna be very crowded. So if you just wanna have a good time, move up and down the pier and see what others are doing to catch fish and follow them. And make sure you don't get in the way of people slinging those lures with treble hooks on them. Okay, now the third option is my favorite and that is surf fishing from the beach. It's one of my favorites because not only do you get some elbow room away from other people, but you also can relax and enjoy the beach. If you don't know where to start along the beach, but you're in Pensacola, I would head over to Park West, or as the locals call it, Chicken Bone. This spot has produced pretty well for me as it's really close to the pass, so you have a lot of fish coming in and out of that area. When you're surf fishing, you're gonna to wanna to use rods that are about 10 to 12 feet if you have those available to you, but definitely not required. If you know how to read the surf, you won't need long rods to cast a mile. I might actually do a video about how to read the surf, so make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified when that video comes out. I recommend buying or making out of PVC some rod holder. Shrimp on a lighter rod would be a good option for casting close to shore. And if that's the only option you have for a rod, that will work great. My favorite bait to use when surf fishing is cut mullet or bluefish, putting it on a nice circle hook, maybe a four aught, five aught, or six aught, and cast it out on a Carolina rig as far as you can with a pyramid weight to hold it down. Now in the surf, you're most likely to catch redfish, bluefish, black drum, stingray, sharks, whiting, pompano, you name it, it's out there. Well, that should get you started if you're visiting the Pensacola area or you live here and are just getting started into saltwater fishing. Comment down below how your trip went and if you had any questions. Again, thanks for watching. This is Phil Hollinsworth. I hope today I provided you with value. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you next time.